this is Adam Jensen. I'm a big fan of Crazy Horse Gaming. I didn't ask for this, but I'll check it out. Hey everybody, Mike here from Crazy Horse Gaming, bringing you another Crazy Horse player, and this time we are looking at the early access of the Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta. Uh, invites got sent out to this to people who are on the preview program for the Xbox Live dashboard, I believe it is, where you could get it a couple of days before launch. So I figured we'd have a look. As you can see there, Halo 5 Guardians, Mesh of the Day. Welcome to the Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta. During the early access period, you'll be able to play a Slayer on two new maps. Didn't get to finish that, but um, yeah. So basically, in case you've noticed, I'm just doing the commentary after at this point because I can't really talk and play at the same time. What we're looking at at the moment is the customization for your Spartan in the Halo 5 uh, multiplayer beta. As you can see there, we've got multiple armors. Uh, these were all unlocked straight away for me, so these ones I'm guessing you don't have to earn to unlock, I'm not sure. Uh, when the multiplayer comes, obviously I'm guessing you'll get a few options. And I'm assuming in the full beta there'll be more game modes at the moment, there are just two maps on Slayer to play. So you can see there, I've only got the one visor, Recruit. And the different types of armor, so you can obviously adjust... Your colour of your armour. And we've got the different helmets as well. Air Assault. Mark 5 Gen 1. Which I believe is the one I go for on this. Then you've got the Scarred, Nightfall and Recruit. Is it 5 or is that 6? Six? 6, sorry. So, yes. Uh, as I was saying. So there we are. I've gone for the, the Master Chief helmet. And we figured I'd go for, in the end I decided on a kind of a luminous green type thing, so it looked pretty cool. Uh, this was after I played the uh, first few games. I've played about four games on the multiplayer beta at the moment. And uh, they're not bad. It's, uh, it's, it's not a bad little game. With it being a, a beta, there still seems to be some serious issues with uh, actually finding games. And the loading time between the games seems to be quite long, but like I said, this is a bit, so I am expecting a few things like that. And they do say at the beginning that you, sh you will run into a few glitches, uh, as just glitches and crashes and things like that, because it's not a finished product. So we'll see there, we get to play Truth and Empire on the uh, Slayer maps. They're the only two available at the moment. Also want to point out that playing this, I'm also trialling out the... First person, f uh, first person control freak add-ons for the pads. Uh, these I'll be doing a video of soon. Uh, basically, nubs you stick on the thumbsticks, and they're basically you know designed to. It's first person freak specter. They're designed to help improve your gameplay. Uh, so I figured I'd give them a trial on this. So I'll be reviewing them. Here we are on Truth, which is a Covenant warship. Uh, basically, it's Slayer, so first two 50 kills, I think, and it's a 12 minute match. As you can see, it's not a bad looking game at all. Uh, I must warn you, I am not the best player of Halo multiplayer, or well, I just, just managed to survive that one there. Some of the new features they have added to the multiplayer beta, or to the Halo 5 is armor abilities. Now I know we've had armor abilities before in previous Halo multiplayer games, but this is, uh, I believe you can equip to your loadouts. It feels new on the current one you have a jetpack. You may see a few of these people using them as you go around. Uh, and you can also obviously do quite a, a fast sprint. And it seems the longer you leave it, the faster the sprint gets, I believe. But it's uh, fairly fast paced. It seems a lot faster paced than previous. Halo, yeah, it was a nice assassination there by my son. Previous uh, Halo multiplayer games. That's another new feature they've got there, is when you jump onto things, you can kind of vault onto them. If you can't quite reach, he pulls himself up, which is quite cool. Again, it's a really cool looking game. This wasn't my favourite of the two maps, I'll be honest. Uh, it was a bit awkward. Very close combat uh, on this, very manic and 
frantic running around all the time. Well, it was for me. Like I said, I am, I'm not the best Halo player in the world. I don't play a great deal of multiplayer. It is, but I did really enjoy the Halo Reach multiplayer. So, I figured why not give this a go. I haven't played a great deal of Halo 4's multiplayer, but this sent the invite so I couldn't refuse a bit of Halo 5. Especially the, the multiplayer. You see they're currently running around with the energy sword. Not doing a bad, too bad a job at the moment either. Uh, your shields don't last long at all in this. Uh, they get drained down quickly and this, <laughs> I just get absolutely mullered walking into a group there. As you can see the, the kill cam shows me just running into three of them. Crazy suicide run there. The grenades feel a lot different in this as well. They don't seem to have the, the impact that you got from previous Halo games. Uh, Guns still feel really good, I admit, and the combat is still really fast paced. Although they, they do seem to have the same power impact, don't get me wrong, the, the grenades, they just don't feel like they have that big boom. I'm still figuring out uh, the controls at this point as well, I haven't fully got them down, but they are pretty intuitive, fairly easy to pick up. Okay. No. Got him there though. There we go, we got a nice melee kill. Yes, as you can see there, it's a fairly close quarters map, this is quite cool. Uh, again, visual style, looks great. Uh, combat's really fast paced, do I get that sword? Or do I? No, I'll let the other fella get that. And well, yeah, we're at 16 kills to 11, so we're not doing too bad. As you can see there, I've just looked noticed, there's a little holographic uh, representation of one of the Earth ships, which is quite cool. But, well, I'm uh, assuming these are all based as, like, training missions. Similar to previous Halo multiplayer, so I've got drilled down there. That was no good. Don't kill down. Yeah, and that just reminded me there's another feature there. The zoom that you have, you zoom in, gives you like a little reticle and stuff, which is kind of like a nice new little animation thing. Uh, another cool feature is you've probably noticed by now when you pick up guns, or when your enemy, when the characters pick up guns uh, on your team, sorry, the other players, or they witness. A uh, grenade being lobbed or someone picking up another weapon, they actually shout those things out so they'll give you a warning for a grenade or if one of the, the team gets killed then they'll notice obviously that's happened and they'll actually shout that out so you can hear it. So your characters actually have voices in this, which is quite cool and you'll hear them call out certain commands and information and stuff based on what they see. I thought it was quite a neat little feature and I just got sorted there. I do like the kill cam there so you can see what happened. I know in a few of these I got sniped a fair few times. Uh, and I didn't know where and then obviously the club came through some sneaky little dude zooming in and giving the old pot shot there and taking me out. Kill and protect her. Well, the old energy sword again. And I missed him. Oh no I did Sorry. I got confused. I always get confused about what team I was on there. I'm obviously the blue team so I was ignoring the other blue sword. Sounds not uh, a lot better in this game, and all the sounds do sound pretty. Uh, sounds do sound uh, pretty impressive. Uh, done some good work on this. I'm looking forward to getting a bit more time on. When the f I'm assuming the full beta will have more levels on. It won't just be two Slayer maps. I'd like to see a few more game modes and maybe a few more different layouts and armor abilities. Cause the as much as the boost is quite handy, the like temporary rocket boost thing. It did uh, kind of save me a few times getting out of places. Uh, it just gives you a quick boost whichever direction you're going in. And obviously the sprint seems to get faster, like I've mentioned. That was the thing with this map is you, there's very little cover. That dude's on me. <laughs> there's very little cover to actually hide here. It's all very circular and not very many corners and you can get at each other from different areas and multiple levels with the old grab lifts and stuff but they've recreated the look of the covenant ship really well i think uh very reminiscent of halo reaches i want to say i think there was a covenant ship level in that it's been that long since i played did i get him i think i get that one yes kill so we're at 38 to 21 at the moment six minutes left and we're not doing too bad. I actually played really well in this game. Like I said, I'm not a huge multiplayer uh, gamer, uh, so I'm not the most experienced, but I, I didn't do too bad. Now, I'm guessing some of that may have had something to do with the first person control freak 
spectre thingy that I had connected to the the pads. Uh, the pad, I'm not sure. I mean, they do say they are meant to improve your performance. Um, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, like I said, I'm doing a video on that at another time. Let me get a drink. Excuse me. So you'll see my review on them later, but this is all about Halo 5's Guardians. So you can see it's a beautiful looking game. Uh, everything seems a lot more streamlined, uh, a lot more faster. Yeah, I'm sure I was just getting hit there. As you can see there, the um, jetpack's glowing on the back of the, the Spartan fire. as he's running by. So it's, it looks pretty cool, that, and I think that the Spartans do look fairly well designed in this. They don't feel as heavy or as bulky. The game feels a lot quicker than it has done in previous incarnations. And there, I believe I just got grenaded. It sucked. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to Halo 5 Guardians coming out. I've got mine on pre-order. I know one of the things people say, you know, not to pre-order because it gives... It doesn't help us with developers and stuff, which in certain cases it's true. Uh, I very rarely pre-order, but with something like Halo, I know I'm going to buy anyway, and it's a game that you know, I've got all the other games I was going to get. And to a certain degree, I do trust 343 with Halo uh, to make a decent title, should I say, so I didn't mind pre-ordering it this time. Uh, but it's not very often that I do pre-order games, to be honest. Victory! 50 to 28. So we didn't do too bad in there. And that was uh, Truth. One of the levels of Slayer. So the next one up will be... I forget the name of it, to be honest. I mentioned it earlier on. As you can see here, we've got the experience matches and ratings thing. When you get up to, I think it's 10 matches, you get a rank or a grading. And then, obviously, you can level that up. So 14 kills, 4 assists, 6 deaths. Not a bad... Bad go for me. As you can see there, we've got the different people with like different ranks now, and that's... The little blue circle indicates how many games I've played. So at the moment, I've played three games. Uh, so still trying to get used to it. And I think once you get ten games, you get your first rank. And then obviously, you level up your Spartan as you go on, which gives you more armor unlocks, I'm guessing. New armors, emblems, and things like that. I'm guessing they probably change your loadouts as well, I imagine, in the final game. But I can't see it being to a point where you get so much of an unfair advantage after so long that newbies just get the shit kicked out of them every time whereas obviously more experienced players get more and more but i will definitely be getting more time in on this beta i really enjoy what i've played so far like i said i've only played about four or five games but as you notice there the loading times are quite long now obviously this is edited for the the next map but it does take a while, and this bit here, uh, a couple of times I've had to kind of dashboard out and come back in just because I couldn't get anywhere and it wasn't finding anyone. So the matchmaking and the servers still aren't great, but like I said before, this is a beta. As you can see, we are still waiting here. Uh, I just I left this in the video just to show you guys that there is a fair amount of loading time involved. So now we're going to jump straight to the next one, I believe. Yep, here we are, Slayer Empire, which is the level I preferred more. Uh, this seems to be like a more an Earth city. Uh, still the same principle. You've got power weapons, uh, which you need to get all of before the others. They, I did mention this before, but they spawn in every so often. So it tends to be like a, a tower defense type thing for these. Oh, not tower defense, but you want to get there first and pick them up before the enemy do. I don't know why I picked this up, because I can't use the sniper rifle to save my life, as it shows. And that was the first kill. This was also the first actual match I played. Uh, so this was match one, I believe the last one. Like I said, that, that was the third one I played. But yeah, this was the first match I actually went into with the beta. Uh, so I'm still trying to get used to the controls. And I don't do too well. I thought I got a kill there. That was, that was a bit more than I expected, to be fair. And I believe someone did grenade me just then. But as you can see, this is... There's more places to hide in this level. It feels more open. Although there are lots of, like, nooks and crannies. And Ooh. Goodbye. That dude there saved my life. So thank you to you, whoever you were. for getting shot. So yeah, like I said, there's more places to hide and uh, 
uh, it feels more open, although yeah, I've got lots of, I say hide and open at the same time, that doesn't really make sense, but it's not as circular uh, as the previous level, I do prefer this level, uh, very, like, an industrial earth type, city type place, uh, it's really good, I enjoyed this. The matchmaking seems, ooh, that was nice, dude came at me from the top. The matchmaking seems fairly balanced in this as well. I didn't get the feeling that in any of the games that I just didn't chan stand a chance. Uh, although a lot of the times I were getting killed and mullered. It was more down to my own <laughs> screwing up the mistakes. I didn't really feel overclassed, although there were, like I said, there were better players on there, don't get me wrong. But the balancing seemed fairly even. It was never like a huge, you just lost 50 nil. Or I just couldn't get any kills at all or anything like that. So that seemed to work fairly well. At least it did for me. Alexandra, 1979, committed suicide. Oh, sick. And this bit, you can see where you... Oh, I got an assist there, so... That was quite cool. Didn't really have much time to stop and take in the, the surroundings. I was just too busy running around like a maniac trying not to get killed. See, at this point here, this is where the sniper spawned. So it kind of got to a point where we were stuck there. There's the uh, nice zoom in feature that I was just mentioning there that they've added a few little extra bits to the zoom. Uh, not a huge thing, but it's nice little details like that that kind of flesh out a game somewhat. And that dude's down. So yeah, like I said, you can constantly hear the uh, other, other Spartans talking to you and telling you when grenades are being choked or if you've assisted them every now and then they'll tell you to stop stealing the kills and things like that. Or they'll tell you off if you accidentally shoot them, which is <laughs> I uh, accidentally do quite often. And that dude just fell off the edge there. Unlucky. They were doing 17 to 10. Not bad. The games don't feel that long either, to be fair. They're a fairly decent length, I find. You don't feel like they're getting drawn out. There's enough going enough to keep you entertained, and it's uh, not completely manic. No, so I did pick up the battle rifle there, but I haven't used it yet, because I'm pretty much useless with it. Anyway, I'll just slowly, I say slowly, or trying to defend the uh, sniper rifle spawn area. Let's see if we've got a, a pelican flying by there, and grenades coming in. Oh, I'm not sure if that was one of our dudes just randomly chucking grenades. That was me trying to figure out the controls, still. Right, that's where I uh, figured out how to use the boost. A little uh, rocket boost thing. It's quite a cool skill. It saved me a few times. Uh, doing the old run around, following this guy as uh, I'll be back up. Although he did just accidentally chuck a grenade at his teammate there. That was very silly. Oh! See, I believe I get my ass kicked here. A couple of grenades up there before I go off. And there we go, I get grenaded. But I did get an assist. That's not too bad. You can see, it does feel a lot more faster paced, as I've mentioned several times now. Uh, there's a couple of pla plasma grenades picked up. Uh, yeah, like I said, faster paced, more close quarters, a bit more manic as well in these maps. Uh, but still just as enjoyable. It doesn't feel frustrating at all, or it doesn't feel like you know, the game's unfair at this point. So there were issues with waiting forever to get a game or uh, many times it would just kick you back out to the uh, the hub area or the intro screen because it just said there was a problem. Find, find a game or encounter problems that kick you out. That dude just saved my life again. But I mean there have been concerns that Halo is going more Call of Duty where uh, and next and then see where people are saying that you know that it's trying to copy Call of Duty. But on other other extent on this, it still feels like a, a Halo game. It still feels like a really decent multiplayer. And I think this could be one I could see myself getting into quite a bit. Although saying that, I barely really get much time for these guys. It is these days. You gonna get him? Yes, he's down. Hello. So yeah, as I was mentioning, obviously I've recorded this and then done the commentary after the fact. And that's because, as some of you may have noticed from previous videos, I 
find it kind of difficult to talk and play video games at the same time. I mean, I still do it for things like the Throwback Tuesdays and the versus first and stuff. And for most Crazy Horse players, I do have my first impressions. But I kind of figured with Halo, I need to be concentrating on what I'm doing on this to actually stand a chance of being able to pull anything off. I don't even know if I got that fella. No, I didn't. There's one down. Two down. Two assists. We managed to push those guys back. That was quite cool. So you can see they're quite well designed levels. Uh, fairly well balanced. It didn't feel all great. I'm not sure where the, the other power weapon is on that side. I don't know. All I know is that the sniper keeps spawning on this side and you defend that like nobody's business. Running around here waiting. Five, Five minutes, minutes left on the eight. game and it's 36 to 21 as it says down at the bottom right corner. Uh, I have to remember to keep an eye on the, the map at the, uh, the the bottom left, the motion sensor. That's always one of my biggest sins is forget to watch that and then some buggers need something. Ooh. Did get a kill and a brawler there, I think it was? I'm not sure. Don't know how that works when I actually died, but... So as you know, you get progress for getting all the different medals and different kills and things like that. This unlocks different armor abilities. Maybe not abilities, I don't know. I know it unlocks certain armor types. Uh, but as for the abilities, I'm guessing they'll roll that in with the actual full beta or maybe the game when it launches or maybe not at all. Who knows? Which reminds me, I've yet to actually play any of the Master Chief Collections uh, multiplayer since they've had the, all the server issues and the problems with not being able to get games. Which I did say I'd do a video on that. So maybe one day I'll get a multiplayer video of that up, who knows. But there will be a video coming up of these control freaks. Uh, like I said, I use the FPS Freak Spectre with this, just to give it a try out, see how it does, and I think it works pretty well. Uh, the, the control did feel really responsive, and that space, that extra space away from the actual pad, which they, they added onto the thumb sticks, gives you, does feel like you get a bit more control, and you're not accidentally pressing the, the control sticks right like that. It did feel really good, actually. It felt really comfortable playing this. I didn't play too bad, so I don't know whether you want to put it down to that or whether I'm just being lucky or who knows. I won't put it down to skill because I'm terrible at these games as a general rule. So I'm still trying to get a bead on where these peeps are. He didn't show up on the map, so I'm guessing there's a, like a limited range, maybe? Not him, sorry. Because he's a red. Uh. I ignore what I just said then. But I have had times where people haven't showed up on the map. Uh, and I don't know whether that's just because they're outside of the, the range of the map. Or I don't know. Maybe there's some way of that you don't show up. Or maybe they're just glitching. Who knows? This is a beta. As I keep mentioning over and over again. Next maybe we're at 49 to 29. So one more kill, peeps. One more kill. And that should be over any minute now. And basically, that was the Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta. There we are. Victory. Victory. But that didn't do uh, too bad at all. Uh, I want to say a big thank you all for watching this. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. And please uh, keep an eye on the site for new content. We get stuff up there as often as we can. I want to say a big thank you all for watching. It really is appreciated. And I will catch you all in the next video. So that was me playing Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta on the Xbox One. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.